Does Charles love eclairs? Does Charles love eclairs? What happened to the Formula One fan question of the week? I know a lot of people love that segment, myself included, and it was conspicuously gone from 2022, so I decided to look into it. Now, as has been the case at every race this year, we have a fan question for you both. So take a listen to this, please. One of the beloved parts from the F1 press conferences in 2021 were the Formula One fan question of the week, which was where kids, generally from the country hosting the race, got to ask questions of all the drivers. The pandemic necessitated changes to the press conference format, switching from the five plus drivers of seasons prior to just two at a time. And the journalists went from being in person asking their questions to doing so via video call. Given that the journalists were digital, it made sense that they could also include pre-recorded videos of children asking questions for the drivers. It fit quite naturally. Uh, if you had a time machine, there is uh, any Grand Prix that you would have loved to participate and uh, with which team? But with 2022 returning to five drivers at a time and the journalists in person, it makes sense that they may have wanted to cut the segment so they could save some technical work by not having to put the videos on screen. However, some of the journalists are still teleconferencing in, so it doesn't quite sit right with me that this would be the reason behind axing the segment. We've had some absolute bangers of questions from kids. Do you take your F1 car? with you when you go home. And we've also had plenty that were awkward and quite clearly written by their parents. Do you have any lucky other way? But in general, it seemed like a net positive. For example, the kid who asked Lewis Hamilton how to become a pit stopper. That's actually a great thing for a kid to learn about and I think actually just an interesting question in general to answer. This helps engage young fans by giving them the opportunity to engage with someone who might be a hero to them. It also shows children that the sport is not just for adults. But more importantly, it shows young girls that this does not have to be a male-only space. I have just started to race in karting. Do you think a girl like me could one day become a Formula 1 driver? And W Series is just not enough. F1 needs female drivers, which means that young girls need to be introduced to racing when they're young enough to get into karting and develop the skills and experience they need to be competitive with everyone else who is starting that young. So what's the real reason they stopped letting kids ask questions of the drivers? That's impossible to say right now. I cannot find anything official that explains why they got rid of this segment. In fact, I can't find anything that even acknowledges that this has been eliminated at all. If I had to guess, the answer is analytics. Knowing when viewers are tuning out or skipping parts of a segment is a key measure in decision making on a product as complex and money making as Formula One. So I can only surmise that they found that viewers were tuning out and or skipping this segment. This is the answer that I think is the most likely. Of the 435 votes on the poll I posted on my YouTube community page, 49% said I wish they'd bring back the kids questions, 16% said I am glad they got rid of them, 31% said I don't watch press conferences, and 4% said I only started watching F1 press conferences in 2022. So that means of the people who watch the press conferences, there's probably at least a third who don't like the fan question segment. So they axed it for 2022 and hope no one would notice. Well, I noticed that they're gone and I miss it. The fan questions were a fun and lighthearted way to bring some levity to an otherwise serious event and I would love to see them brought back. Given that Formula One has not formally acknowledged that they're gone, nor provided a reason for why they have axed the segment, I think they either owe us a return of it, or at least an explanation as to why it's gone. If people just weren't watching them or were skipping them, fair enough. But I think it would be a great way to engage young fans again, to show them that there are young fans out there and other kids like themselves are loving the sport. It'll give girls an opportunity to show that other girls are into Formula One, which can be very encouraging when you're in a space that's often dominated by boys who may say that it's not a thing for girls or possibly even discount girls. And for the boys who hold those attitudes, it's very important for them to see these young female fans on screen because they know that they exist and they cannot deny them. Do you want to see them come back? Let me know in the comments. If you have a source that explains why these went away, please send it over. I would love to do some more digging on the topic. If there are new developments that address what happened, I'll make sure to make a follow-up video. So subscribe to make sure that you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stacy Hewen, and let's be fiends together.